Hi, my name is Cheryl McLaughlin. I want to talk about containers. So many containers that you're going to use for the garden can actually be saved from things that you use in your own home. Like for instance, milk cartons. This is a gallon sized milk carton or it could be a half gallon uh, plastic milk carton. I'm going to show you what, well I'll tell you actually right now, uh, when we get ready to use this we're going to cut it and this makes a great container and then we'll poke a few holes in the bottom so it does need to be able to uh, run water through. Another container are these juice containers. Same thing, we will go ahead and cut off the top and this creates for, this makes a really nice container for growing little seedlings or uh, some startup plants. And again, you're going to need some little holes. Another great container are any of these milk containers that are the cardboard. And this could be a little pint size like your whipping cream or buttermilk or any size containers. And we'll cut these down and this is perfect. You can save so much money from the store if you'll just save some of these. Plus think about all the stuff that's not going to the dump. <laughs> so that's another great thing. So here's a container that you see a lot of plants in. So if you do buy plants from a nursery or a store, save these containers and notice they do have great drainage. Another container, this is exactly what I'm talking about. See, it might have been a juice container and we've cut it down to something about this size and then we will put holes in it. it has to have drainage. Another container that you might see uh, on the market are some of these. This is kind of like a little bit more beefier version of my little newspaper containers and a little bit bigger. Again, it has the drainage and even with this little newspaper, it has excellent drainage. The water does go right through. Any of these little containers or your yogurt containers, don't throw those out either. And again, the drainage, so save any of these types of things. And then how many times do you get strawberries or blueberries? Any size plastic container like this, we open the lid up and it already has some great ventilation and this will make a great container for being able to um, grow seeds in and things. And this big container here, this is a gutter. And we're gonna be talking about this in another little segment. I'm gonna show you how I do hydroponic gardening, but this is another great container that we have just used some cedar wood and put the ends on so it still has really good drainage out the sides here and uh, these gutters are great for shallow type plants like strawberries or lettuce or different types of things that have really shallow roots and this save your um, cardboard egg containers this is also a great container for starting seed and one more container, your water bottles. Your little plastic drinking water bottles. I've cut off the top and we have poked some little holes in the bottom. These are excellent containers. I'm going to show you what we're going to do with this in another segment when I do hydroponic gardening. But you can also use these. You can cut them a lot lower and it can be something similar to these little containers here. So there's all kinds of things that you already have in your home. Start recycling these things. Don't send them to the dump. They are great for gardening.